So let's start uh, working with some Angular JS. So Angular JS, as I said earlier, has a really is known to have a really steep learning curve. But I think the reason, in my mind, is that people want to learn it all at once. We're not going to do that. We're going to try and split it up and then just start using it, and then we can try learning it as we move along. Um, so one of the things that make Angular pretty strong is this data binding, and that's where we're going to start. We're going to start out by just trying to take our beautiful application here and data bind these fields so we can actually press add syllabus and something is saved in the database. And um, the first step I want to do is, is pretty much just to get back to the version that we should use. So you need to do a git checkout uh, version 0.1.3 to get to where I'm at right now. I've already done that, so um, I'll just skip that part. And then, of course, you need to restart your course planner if it's not already running. Uh, mine is running right here. So when everything is running, we're going to go into the code. And I'm going to do something now. I'm going to write ng model to this input field right here. That's the title. So I'm going to write ng model. Oh, my bad. ng model equals. And I'm just going to put a model name in here. And that could be anything. Let's just write. A new syllabus dot name, right? Uh, that says new, but still, you get the point. So this actually means that this guy is now bound to this name right here in a hidden modern model that's inside something we call the scope. So what I want to show you is that bounding this right here, I'll just copy it and add it here below above the footer. I can actually do it like this to then show that value. So I'll just paste it in here and save it. Okay, let's go back to the code and see if something has changed. You don't see anything here, but if I start writing here, you'll actually see it's popping up all the way out here. Sorry about that, but still, as I write, you'll see it, it shows there as well. Okay, so those two are bound together now. That's just my point. And I'll do the same for the lecturer to bind that. Also, I'll do another ng model here. And then in the other input field down here, I'll say new syllabus lecturer like this. Let me just slide these inside the container so they're not all the way out in nowhere. Let me just paste another one in and say lecturer just to show you again that they're actually bound directly to these pieces of information. So back in my code, if I write uh, the title is uh, JS Web Apps. And the lecturer is Lars Bieler. You'll notice that this pops up right away. So it's kind of bound for you now. The data is somewhere inside the Angular environment now. So we can use it to, when we press add syllabus, actually post a new syllabus to our REST API, just like we did from Postman. Okay, so that's the next step. Let me just remove this again and go back. And uh, now, <clears throat> the only reason. I actually added these two was just to show you for now how to do it. So I'll just remove them again. The next thing I want to do is when we click the add syllabus button, we are going to use another Angular and these guys are called directives. Again, don't worry about it too much yet. It's part of the steep curve, but right now just accept that when you write ng click, you can actually here add a method that will be hit inside our controller whenever I do an ng click. So let me write ng click here and then I'll say create syllabus and then just start in parentheses. Okay, this is actually a function that we're going to call in a second. Let me just go back to the UI to show you that nothing happens still. If I click the button, nothing happens. Okay, but I <clears throat> now it's bound to something so we can start doing something. Okay, let's go back to the UI. And um, <clears throat> I'll go into the controller. These two are bound together, and they're bound together by the UI router. The UI router says, for this state that we call main, meaning that when you hit the slash, or you write state main, we'll get back to that later as well when we start switching states, you actually take this HTML file and bind it together with this controller. That's what the that's how we bind things together in the Angular setup. And if I open this guy, his name is syllabus controller, just like what you saw down here. So that's why this HTML file is bound together 
with this controller.js file right here. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to on what we call the scope, right? Oh, that was a bad dollar sign. Let me just undo that. Um, on the scope, we are going to say, like I did here, we are going to make a function called create syllabus. Create syllabus, and that is going to be equal to a function. And um, let's just, uh, to make this symbol, the video will have to stop it in a second. But let's just console lock something called scope dot new syllabus. I'll show you where that's coming from. Right like this. Let's just I'll just show you new syllabus. That's the exact same name that I used here, right? So that's what the input fields are bound to. So when I press the button now, it hits this function inside this controller. And then it prints out the new syllabus, meaning the entire file that we're creating. <clears throat> so let's try to go into our view again. And I'll just open the developer tools. Control Shift I on a Windows machine. I'll open the console. And here I'll write JS Web Apps and Las Bilde. And when I press add syllabus, now you'll see that pops up down here as a JavaScript object. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we'll try and pass it onto the database.